Wander back again. You're catching me without my scarf. I wanted to put my scarf on for all of you. We have another awesome program planned, and I'm going to get everything in, even a little bit of St. Patrick's Day style. So today's topic is seven ways you can get your closet ready so that you can get out the door quickly feeling better than ever. We are actually celebrating Women's History Month tonight as well. Yesterday, of course, was International Women's Day. We did do a couple posts on that. But what I thought I would do to get started before we bring in our show and tell, and I've got some really fun stuff to show you. Hello, June Tarter. Hello, Karen. Um, is... You know, I was talking to Sarah Zengo and just about our Facebook group, and we we're just so delighted. Welcome to all our new members. We had 40 new members come in in the month of February, and we've already had about 10 to 15 come in for March. So welcome if it's your first time joining us. We are just so happy about this group. Uh, and of course, two years ago, March 13th, we always call it Friday the 13th, was the last day that we were in the field working with people uh, before the pandemic hit. Uh, so here we are, um, we survived it. And as I've always said to a lot of you that have been on for a while, hello, Ellen Jacobs, you've been coming on for a long time. Nice to see you. Um, this community was one of the biggest gifts for us in the last two years. So thank you all who have been here since the beginning. Thank you for continuing. Uh, we are really committed to this group. We feel that it is just so much fun. We get to test our ideas. We get to meet new people. So thank you for all for showing up. We show up for you because you show up for us. If you have some friends that might want to join, please have them join. And if you're not following us on Instagram, it's Dressing Well Boston. I just posted a video Oh, about five minutes ago, uh, our internet was down. We got to where it's snowing here in New England. Go figure. It's going to be 50 degrees tomorrow. But the wires sometimes get wet, and we were, we were without internet. So my handy husband fixed me up to be able to come on tonight, but we did just post a video. So... Again, in talking to Sarah and planning this event and talking about International Women's Day and Women's History Month, we try to be, you know, pull in as much current affairs as we can. You know, Sarah said to me, we're a women-owned business. And, you know, it didn't even occur to me. Yesterday we did a post on our foundation. But I was like, wow, we really are a woman-owned business. And even though we work with both men and women, this group is just for women. So it got me thinking, and there really are so many new people in the group, um, that I probably should start this week, since it is Women's History Month and we're all celebrating women, is just give give you guys an overview of what we do. I'm not sure we... we have done that on this program. We just posted a new welcome post in the Facebook group to welcome all of our new members. And when I was writing it on Saturday, I wrote it once and then I said, you know what? I didn't write what we do. So I went back in and edited it. So my journey started 30 years ago. This company will be 30 years old on April 1st, if you can believe that. Okay. I was 12 years old when I started it, but I started the company with a simple premise that anybody can be well-dressed with a little bit of organization and a few simple style tricks and tips. And honest to goodness, I have my whole career has been based on that philosophy. I've been very blessed with the book came out in 2004. Uh, I've done a lot of speaking. I've done a lot of corporate dress code work. I have done so much in 30 years. I, I, I can't even believe it. Um, but our core principles is what we talk about in this group. It's really an organized approach to style. It's starting with what you have adding color in a way that makes your heart sing, having a lot of clothes if that's something you like, or doing things on a very minimal scale. We're also just not snobs. We shop at Neiman Marcus and we shop at Costco. One of our consultants, Jen Kletty, and I were just going back and forth and just cracking up at some of the finds that we're able to get for people in places that are very much off the beaten path. We love consignment stores. We love repurposing. We love 
organized in your closet in a way that seasonally you can pick things out really well. But in honor of, again, International Women's Day yesterday, Women's History Month, I just wanted to share um, that that's our story. When our firm turned 25 years, uh, when we had our 25th anniversary five years ago, we started a foundation and we're super proud of that. Sarah posted some beautiful pictures yesterday uh, about the foundation in honor of International Women's Day. But we have since day one been collecting clothing, repurposing clothing, using it to help women of all sorts of backgrounds. I, I mean, when I first started my company, I didn't have any clients. <laughs> so I volunteered over in Natick. I helped, um, there was a program over there, a woman's shelter called Shadows. I helped, I built a closet, I was bringing, at that time I was really just working with friends. I was bringing everybody's clothes over there. Today we work with uh, Family Promise Metro West that's in Natick. Uh, we also have a program with the Needham Community Council called the Commer of Clothing Project. So it was so um, meaningful to me five years ago to finally formalize with our foundation what we've been doing really since day one. And it also let us make a serious commitment to our mission of empowering women, regardless of socioeconomic means, to experience the power of dressing well. So thank you to Sarah for pointing that out to me yesterday when we were uh, trying to come up with a meaningful way to celebrate International Women's Day. Um, our work really knows no boundaries in that department and we are just really proud in the foundation we raise money and it also allows us to provide a layer of financial support for those organizations to thrive and those of you that were on two weeks ago when i have my good friend arthur anton anton's dry cleaners that throws bell of the ball the biggest the best prom dress boutique for young women that may not be able to go to their prom without that kind of event um so a lot of the money that we raise goes to that organization, plus Coat for Kids, plus Dress for Success Boston. So we're super proud that we still physically bring our clients clothing, responsibly retire them, put them in the hands of others that can use them, personally coach women on how to use dress for success and also now have the ability to add funding to these incredible organizations. So that is my message today on um, National um, Women's History Month and International Women's Day. So the only other two announcements that I have and then I will dig into our program is I already said one, welcome to all of our new members, 50 in the month of February, which is so exciting for us. And I, um, oh, Enrollment for 90 Days to Stellar Style is open. The next one kicks off April 11th. We have some wonderful women already enrolled in that program. So if you would like to join, please get on my calendar, get on Sarah's calendar. Um, we are really gearing up for that to be just an amazing program. The current cohort is fantastic. We had a couple of them speak last week. If you missed that one, you can always see the replays in the group. But we had three awesome uh, gals from the current cohort come in and share their experience. So if you missed that, uh, you might want to check that out. And then my last announcement is I am going to be in Florida next week. How lucky am I? So we'll be taking next week off. I might pop in and wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day. I did that last year. My name is Mary Lou Sullivan Andre, after all, but I'm wearing my green tonight in honor of St. Patrick's Day and to wish all of you that celebrate a happy day as well. And I thought, as all of you know, um, we use color very strategically. So I thought I would use the color green tonight to make some of the points that I have prepared for you. So without further ado, let's jump into our program. And when I was planning today's session, and again, looking at International Women's Day, Women's History Month, knowing that we do work with both men and women, but this group is really designed to serve women. I said, let's celebrate all of you. We have all gone through an extraordinary couple of years. We are doing more 
uh, and more and more with our jobs, with our families, with our communities. And clothing should not be one of the areas in your, in your life that's hard. So tonight is about, again, mindset. We do a lot with mindset in this group, but really getting clear on what your day-to-day -day is, having the right pieces that make you happy, make you confident, make you feel good on the inside and the outside, and then organizing them in a way that you can put your hands on them and get out the door quickly. So this program is for all of you, all of us who are caretakers, co-workers, spouses, moms, best girlfriends, teachers, educators. We have a lot of teachers and educators. We have real estate agents in this group that take great care of their clients. For all of you that are caretakers, this program is for you. So the first thing, I've got seven ideas for you tonight. And the first one, it was depicted on the video. So if you haven't seen it yet, it's up on Instagram now. It's probably shared to Facebook by now, and I'll get it in the group when we get off tonight. But visit your coat closet first and start to retire all the wool that you're tired of. If you, haven't, if you didn't wear those coats, save them for coat drives that'll start kicking off in the fall. Um, donate them give them to someone else. You know, you guys know that I'm a big fan of Anton's cleaners, but I take this bag out right about now. It's already getting full. And whether it's my coats or my sweaters, like the last time I wear them, and we've still got some chilly weather ahead of us. So as you can see, I've got my, this is a cashmere sweater, but it's green. I've got my yellow cashmere ready to go. And even this was, um, folded in a in a drawer and I took it out today and hung it on the right hanger just so that and the, and the wrinkles already fell out of it and you know I can wear that with this scarf you know everything to me is a color story how do you brighten up how do you not get overwhelmed and taking the time and I did it this morning to get my lighter weight cashmere bright sweaters out just makes it really easy to get dressed and out the door. So I start retiring, putting stuff after I wear it. Like for instance, this weekend I had on my black cashmere sweater. I'm really done with that. So that's in the dry cleaning bag. And then the next thing I do is I, I visit the coat closet. And you guys have seen this coat so many times. This is my travel coat. And I actually had it out because I'm packing for Florida and I will probably wear this on the plane. I get so tired of it, but it's just so handy. And, you know, having a lightweight jacket that will protect you from the rain and the drizzle. Uh, still probably be a couple of snow showers. It was snowing here today in Boston when I was out earlier. But, you know, having a really great trench coat I love the shape of this. This is um, this is Max Mara. I got this a really long time ago, and it, it just is probably one of the best pieces I've ever bought. And then this year, I found this scarf, and this is Banana Republic. This probably has five years on the coat. And I always think of my kids, and I remember wearing this we took them to the North End on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> what were we thinking? So we went to the North, and my husband's um, half Irish too, so I don't know what we were thinking. But I, I remember um, we went in on the train, and I didn't have anything green that I liked, and I ran in and bought this in Banana Republic. But, you know, again, when you take care of your clothes and you buy pieces that speak to you, um, I have worn this almost every St. Patrick's Day, and I just wear it. it I, what I really love about it is it's not white, it's cream, and you can tell it just goes beautifully with the coat. So the second tip is I will hang this scarf with the coat. And of course, I took the time today, I can wear black leggings, um, this cashmere sweater, the yellow cashmere. So in my head, I've got the outfit planned. For those of you who are returning to work, 
you haven't been to work in a while, we're getting a lot of calls. And I always know when change is on the horizon based on the calls and the emails we get. But I've been asked by two companies just in the last week to go in and do uh, back to dress seminars. So if you guys have a company, if you work for an organization, we, I'm doing both of them on Zoom. Um, but they just called me and they said, we're, people are coming back to the office. We want to do some fun, lighter seminars and workshops. Um, so, of course, my head is already thinking, like, how am I going to teach and train and motivate? But the name of the game is, you know, having some nice pieces like this that you can get on the train, in your car, into the office, feeling sharp, feeling fresh, feeling a little bit lighter. The pants I have on, they are from H&M. I bought them in the darkest days of the pandemic. But they're, they're black stretch pants, but they don't read yoga pants they actually read slacks but they're super comfortable they've got a lot of stretch so if you're somebody that's going back to the office again outerwear scarves color pants that are more polished but not maybe as stiff and formal as you used to wear so that's tip number one um the next thing that i did and i showed this on the video is i've had this you all know I love crossbody bags and you know having a crossbody bag and the what makes them new right now is these straps you can find these straps everywhere I found this strap at Madewell in the mall and again because this is going to be my wear everyday coat I can wear this to see clients I can wear this to do errands I can wear it on the airplane but having the crossbody with the fresh strap, hello Sally Scott, I see you popping in there. Um, it just, you just feel pulled together. And again, take a little time to do this and hang it all together. And of course, transitional shoes are on everybody's mind. Right now you can still wear your ankle boots, but I showed these last week, you know, this waterproof, it's a patent leather loafer. This one's a little bit more modern. Um, is a great way to go. Of course, I got my Uggs. These these things should write me a check, but these are waterproof, and I can wear these. They're lighter because they're short. And then I found these killer boots today. These are waterproof. How fun are they? And look how great they look with the coat. So these, I think, were Steve Madden. Saw them at the mall, grabbed them. Just I loved how much lighter and fresher everything looked. So I'll start to take all my stuff off. And I told you that I was going to spend a little bit of time on that, on uh, St. Patrick's Day. I also found this amazing tote bag. So if a crossbody bag isn't what you're looking for, if you're going back to work, you need something for the train. You know, I love an oversized tote. Uh, but we have a very special client. Wink, wink, Mary. Uh, that this is going. Mary is leaving for Ireland on... Friday and my awesome husband said that he would drop this off at Mary's house. Mary has a home in Ireland. It's Mary Courtney O'Sullivan. Her husband is Irish and she is spending, she calls it the holy holiday, she's spending St. Patrick's Day over in Ireland and she's just, you know, and I saw this, it's a Kate Spade, one of a kind. How could I have left that? But Mary's um, taking that. So again, whether it's a crossbody bag that gets you out the door feeling great, hands-free, or if you need a bigger bag, you know, freshening up, making things, purchasing things that you love, and none of this has to cost a lot of money. It's again, mine, mindset. Everything I have showed you so far, except for the strap, and that bag, which is not for me, um, was in my closet already. Okay, mindset. Um, then you need that, you know, that fun shoe. And I did, you know, this, the loafers are just such a great transitional shoe because they're not bare like a sandal. They're not, it, it's the whole shoe. You know, you don't have to worry about, um, if you're going back into the city for work, uh, even like driving your car, you know, having a good shoe on that supports you is great. The other thing I wanted to show you, and you guys all know I love my Miss Susie Q, my little beagle, my little beagle dachshund. I found these shoes. How cute are those? 
they're from Talbot's, could not leave them. And with the green sweater, I just love them. I'm going to wear them on the airport, but they were on sale. They fit my, can't really see, but they fit my foot really well. They're suede, and I feel like with jeans, the green sweater, you know, I can't wear my little trench coat with them, but I can wear a jean jacket. Oh my goodness, had had to had to get those. So that's my, what are we on here? We went with the uh, spring coat. The tote or the crossbody bag? Hello, Mary Courtney O'Sullivan. We were just talking about you. Hello, Joan Sullivan Kaler, my aunt, who we celebrated her birthday last year in the group. And I'm going to be with her next week. I think I saw my mom come in. Hello, mom. I'm going to be with my mom and my aunt and my husband and my nephew, Jeremiah Sullivan, next week. My 23-year-old nephew is going to be spending the week with us, too. So, hello, Joan. Hello, Lisa Duncan. And she's saying, ah, oh, Susie Q's shoes. Lisa loves my Susie Q. And my Susie Q loves Lisa. So, here we go. Also, Hunter boots. I've showed those before. I The ones that I have have red. It's got the... So, Hunter boots are like a, a spring... They're, they're, they're a weather boot. And I love them. I love the shape of them. But they have the red, mine have red on them and they just feel a little bit more fall winter. So I wanted to just show you some alternatives in that department. Um, we talked about a scarf. This is the only one I have down here, but scarves in a bright color just let you really brighten up for spring. And you can find these at consignment stores on the sale rack. You know, again, I, I caught that this one is at least 10 years old from Banana a thousand years ago. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to share, and I don't have one to show you, but if we're talking about easy dressing, putting your hands on stuff. So most of us have to get out the door in the morning or to do errands, to go to work, whatever, even, even walk the do dog. You don't have to look awful when you walk the dog. <laughs> you can't hide behind the mask anymore. Some of us are still wearing masks, but if you, a lot of us are not wearing masks anymore. So, you know, look at what that part of your wardrobe looks like. I actually, I don't, I don't have it. Um, I'll have to show it to you when I get back. Uh, but I went to Uniqlo today because I was at the mall. You know, you guys know I love Uniqlo. Uh, and I got a really fresh pair of um, leggings and a little jacket. And that'll be like my walk the dog. The other jacket so I also have been wearing this. It's still heavy, but it's a lightweight puffer. So if we do have, I had this on over the weekend. It was, where was I? Oh, I was at the Cape on Saturday. So I wore this. It's really warm. It's down, but it's shorter and it's a light color. So even though it was cold, you know, I was at the beach, went for a walk on the beach. It felt great, but I loved that the color was lighter. So I wanted to show you that. And... So I, I, boy, I'm digressing. I think I do need a vacation. The uh, another outfit idea is having a jumpsuit. So going to work, walking the dog, like get that figured out because you do that every day, or a lot of us do that every day. But also have something that when your girlfriend asks you out, you go on a date with your husband. If you are dating, if you just want to have something that. You can put on, go out to dinner, go to a friend's house. I love having a black jumpsuit. And the one that I have is summer and it's at my Cape house. But I looked for one today and I couldn't find one. You know I'm going to get one in Florida. I'll be shopping in Florida for sure. That's what I do when I go down there. And of course, my husband's going to have my nephew to golf with. So you know how I, what I say, he golfs, I shop. Um, but having like a, I just love a jumpsuit. It's that one piece wonder. And again, this program is recognizing that all of us are busy. All of us don't have a lot of time, but having like certain things in our wardrobe that make us happy, get us out the door, feeling polished and fresh and ready to go. So we've got a couple more minutes here. Um, and I think, yeah, I think I got through my seven. And I'm just gonna go grab those, the things I got at Uniglo. I think they're right here. they are. So here's these desert colors are really popular. 
Sarah is right now putting together our top 10. We will have that when we get back. Uh, in two weeks, I'll be doing a night. But the yoga pants that I bought when I was in Miami in January, I think I showed you guys those. I am like living in them. I love the pockets. So I saw these at Uniglow. So inexpensive. And I loved the color. And I like how the color even goes with this trench coat. It goes with the lighter jacket I just showed you. Um, and of course, whenever I introduce a new color, I get the whole outfit. So I also got this little, this is really light. I'm still, I'm not going to be wearing this for a while. Um, but when it does lighten up, I loved this. And this stuff was just so affordable. This was $29. And the pants were... And I really wanted something to, to, I might even wear these on the plane when I go. I might wear this, you know, bring my, I always bring my little trench coat, but I might wear these on the plane. So those are my tips. Again, I will be away next week in Florida and I might pop in and say happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm not sure yet, but if not, um, the lovely Maria that runs our tech is going to play, do a replay. So there will be something here for you seven o'clock next Wednesday night. We try very hard to keep, um, keep that up. And, um, what else can I say? I will be back with more show and tell on our top 10. That'll be posted on the 21st, which is the official first day of spring, I think. It might be the 20th this year. So we've got the top 10 coming up. You know I always have really good show and tell from my trips. And we have uh, coming up, we will be um, back at Top It Off in West Roxbury, our really good friends that run a really cool boutique. We're going to be back at Neiman Marcus coming up. And I have a couple special clients that I'll be bringing in as well. So um, have an awesome St. Patrick's Day. Have a great couple of weeks. I'll see you back here in two weeks. And again, if you, would if you are interested in enrolling in 90 Days to Stellar Style, I will be at my desk all day tomorrow. Happy to talk to you, and Sarah is also awesome at explaining that program, and it really is um, dynamic. If you like this program, you will love that class because it puts all of these principles, it customizes all of these principles exclusively to you. You work with your own stylist for three months, and it really, truly is a game changer. So that is it for tonight. Again, I hope one, two, three, maybe three new ideas came out of this program for you that make it easy for you to look at your closet, play dress up in there, have a little fun during this stressful time, and get out the door feeling like you are ready to tackle the world. Okay, happy Women's History Month to you all. Happy International Women's Day, which was yesterday, and please jump back into the Facebook group, look at the awesome pictures that Sarah posted yesterday of our work. And again, I just wanted to salute all of you tonight as well. Okay, see you again next in two weeks. Have a great couple of weeks and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.